Have you ever gone for a walk and wondered what those piles of leaves are in these trees? Hi, I'm Liz from Royal Botanical Gardens and I've got the answer to that question for you. Those are squirrel nests, also called drays. And this is the best time of year to look for them because there's no leaves on the trees to hide them. Now, the first thing you might be thinking is, wait, I thought squirrels lived in holes in trees. Why are you saying that they're building nests? It's because they do both. If I was a squirrel and I was trying to keep warm on this cold day, ideally I'd live in a hole or a cavity in a tree. And some squirrels are lucky enough to find those. But most squirrels around here will build those drays to keep warm. So what do they build them out of? Well, often they'll build them out of sticks and leaves for the outer layer. And then on the inside, they'll line it with grasses or sometimes pine needles, maybe a bit of fur, something nice and soft and warm. When a squirrel dray is fully constructed, it's a sphere of about 30 centimeters in diameter, which is why it looks like a big ball of leaves, because really it is. Now squirrels will build one or two exits to their dray. They'll always be pointed towards the trunk, so it's really easy for a squirrel to get in and get out and to stay dry when it's raining. Squirrels will start building their drays in the summer when the leaves are still green. So you often won't see them until the leaves start to fall off the trees. And the reason the squirrels start building drays in the summer is because if they chew off small branches with green leaves on them and build their drays with them then, then those leaves won't fall off the branches and will keep their dray nice and warm when it comes to the winter time. Now, a well-constructed dray could be almost 20 degrees warmer on the inside than on the outside. So on a day like today, when it's minus 10, you could be cozy inside your little squirrel dray at a nice and balmy plus 10 degrees when you're out looking for drays what is a good spot to go looking uh, a good spot is trees that are deciduous so trees that lose their leaves that's your first spot to look for um, if you can go walking around your neighborhood maybe looking for trees that have nuts on them like acorns or oaks or walnuts uh, those might be a good place to start and one thing you're going to notice is when you look at drays, not every pile of sticks and leaves in the trees is a squirrel nest. See that dray behind me? Right there, pointing at it. That dray is not in use right now. And I can tell that because if I look at it, it's not a perfectly round ball of sticks and leaves. You might be able to see it's got a little dip in it. So that means it was used at one point but it's not used anymore. The average squirrel uses a dray for about one to two years before moving on. So this dray could be one of those. Uh, squirrels will also build backup drays. So if their first dray gets destroyed by predators or maybe it has fleas or lice in it, they'll move on to another dray like this one. So now you know a little bit more about drays and now you know what to look for when you're out looking for those squirrel nests. So I highly encourage you to get outside today with friends, with family, go for a walk, look in the trees and see how many drays are around your neighborhood. If you like this video, make sure you check out more at rbg.ca slash at home. Once again, I'm Liz from Royal Botanical Gardens and until next time, have fun.